In order to get a good 3D or 4D image, first we must have a good 2D image. So let's begin. First, press the power button on the control panel to turn the system on. Then, press the probe key to select the volume probe on the touch screen. Choose the second or third OB trimester exam mode. Before scanning, please orient the probe mark on the transducer and ensure to manipulate the probe correctly. Static 3D means one single volume 3D image. 4D means to acquire real-time 3D images. The difference is that in static 3D mode, only a single set of 3D volumetric data is captured, while in 4D mode, multiple sets of 3D volumetric data within a continuous time frame is acquired and aligned chronologically. The best plane to get a good 3D or 4D image is the mid-sagittal plane. So you need to find the sagittal plane like this. First, you should obtain the BPD imaging plane. After obtaining the BPD imaging plane, rotate the transducer like this to obtain the sagittal plane. If you are not in the standard mid-sagittal plane, just adjust the probe position slowly to get the mid-sagittal plane. When you get the mid-sagittal plane, the 2D image preparation work is ready. Press the 3D key on the control panel, then the ROI box will show up. Use the set key and trackball to adjust the size of the region of interest and move it to the appropriate position. The size of the region of interest should be appropriate, not too small, not too large. Move the region of interest to contain the whole fetal head without any blockage. Improper volume can't get good and complete 3D image. Use the set key to activate the volume curve and adjust it with the trackball moving as close to the fetal face surface as possible. Press update key on the control panel to start the 3D image acquisition. The acquisition process is being done automatically. During the period, please maintain the probe in the still position. Press the 4D key on the control panel, then the region of interest box will show up. Use the set key and trackball to adjust the size of the region of interest and move it to the appropriate position. Press update key on the control panel to enter the 4D image real-time display status. Press the freeze key on the control panel to freeze the image. Then, the 4D image acquisition will automatically be terminated. After obtaining the 3D or 4D image, you can perform post-processing and editing of the image to allow for image improvement. Rotate this knob to select the right threshold setting according to the 3D or 4D image performance. Remember that a too high threshold setting causes the loss of details, while a th too low threshold setting produces too much noise. iLive is a revolutionary way to obtain virtual, realistic views of the fetus surface with natural human skin color. Press the iLive key on the touchscreen to enter the iLive mode. Change the light position by using the trackball to move the light to obtain different effects. Press the single key to enter the single window and display a single 
3D or 4D image only in full screen. Press the dual key to enter the dual mode and display a 2D and 3D or 4D image side by side. Press the quad key to enter the quad mode, which displays three 2D images in three directions plus a 3D or 4D image. This is a default factory setting. In 3D imaging mode, press the save key on the control panel to save the current image to the patient information management system. In 4D imaging mode, press the user-defined save key, save clip, to the patient information management system.